years, cleaning business owners have told us they keep submitting cleaning proposals to prospects and they keep losing out to their competitors. So they ask us to tell them why this keeps happening. Well, of course, Steve and I weren't there, so it could be any number of things that causes them to lose a sale. So today, I want you to ask yourself some questions. And for some of you, this means taking a really hard look at yourself and how you may be sabotaging your own success. So here are the easy questions, the things that many people don't consider a big deal, but in the eyes of your clients, they are a big deal. Number one, were you on time or were you late? The right answer is that you were at least five minutes early. Number two, were you organized? Some people loosely carry their marketing materials, a notebook, a pen, tablet, phone, and even a measuring device. They're fumbling around trying to get organized and end up looking unprofessional in the eyes of the prospect. Number three, were you prepared? Did you do your research so you weren't asking the prospect to tell you all about their company? Remember, it's your job to know. Now ask yourself the tough questions. If you're honest with yourself and don't like the answers, then take steps to do something about it or you'll continue losing out to your competitors. Number four, were you able to confidently answer their questions? If you find yourself always defending your price, the quality of your service, or other tough questions posed by the prospect, then it's time to work on your confidence level. If you aren't confident that your price is worth every penny, the prospect will see that as an opportunity to negotiate. And if you're not confident about the quality control, employee longevity, or a host of other subjects, you'll probably find yourself on the defense throughout the visit. This will not get you the client. Number five, did you appear desperate to make the sale? Some small business owners are often so anxious to make the sale that the client reads it as desperation. They're not going to give their business to someone that is desperate for it because it's a sign of weakness. Number six, did the prospect ask questions about your business that made you doubt your ability to do the job? For example, they might ask questions like, how much experience do you have? How long have you been in business? How many clients do you have? How do I know you'll send me the same employee to clean every time? What if you get hit by a bus tomorrow? That's a lot to think about, isn't it? But it's a good exercise for every business owner who is meeting with prospects. Even though you thought the sale would go your way because you got along with the prospect and they seemed interested, it's not enough. They need to not only like you, they need to trust you and believe in you. And when you're confident in your ability to handle the job at a price that makes sense, then you've got a much better chance to close the sale. Oh, 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 oh,